Hey, this is LOA Today, the Law of Attraction show. Welcome to LOA Today, Walt Thiessen and Joel Elston here. September the 22nd, 2016, that's Thursday once again. Thursdays always seem to come around, and that's our favorite day of the week because that's the day we get to appear here on PRN and share our latest insights and experiences and troubles and everything else related to the Law of Attraction. And this week, we thought we'd talk about one of our favorite LOA gurus, Mr. Mike Dooley does a daily note from the universe. If you're not on his email list, you definitely want to do it. It picks you up every morning. Um, they come free. They're delivered five days a week, Monday through Friday. Um, and you can sign up in case you haven't already signed up by going to his website, which is tut.com, T-U-T dot com. And there's a little button there you can click to sign up. You give them your email address. You provide a couple details about what you're trying to attracting to your life and then you start getting these notes every day and, and joel they're wonderful the notes pick you up no matter what mood you're in yeah they're very helpful and, and you know one of the things that i love about mike is is i relate to him there's several of them that i listen to and and i relate to him because he he talks so much about how not getting stuck on the outcome uh i mean how the outcome is going to happen like when when I listen to his videos, he's he's saying that one of the things that happens most to someone who who doesn't figure out how to use the law of attraction is they get stuck on one course of action. Not only do they have the vision of what they want to happen, but they they get stuck on how it is going to happen. That yeah, he calls them the horrible hows. Exactly, and uh, you know the idea that that letting go of how it's going to happen and and allowing yourself to just understand it is going to happen really in his at least from his teachings is probably the biggest blocker of the law of attraction which is an interesting thing but you're absolutely right and i know from experience that it's a great blocker because i'm very good at blocking myself that way <laughs> yes <laughs> i mean i am really i i'm an a student when it comes to blocking myself with my own horrible house but uh, you're right he talks about that a lot and he really emphasizes the importance of not worrying about the result or looking at it another way, this is sort of an Abraham Hicks thing, making the result that you're looking at, how happy are you? How good are you feeling? How much are you focusing on what's great, what's going on in your life that, that really feels good and so forth, instead of focusing on results? Or to look at it another way, focusing on where you want to be in the downstream, not what's coming from the upstream. So right. that, and yeah, Mike does a great job of touching on that um in fact uh we, we thought we'd share some of our favorite mike dooley's today this is one that uh came out just a few days back and i wanted to share because i love it it says oh and these all get uh personalized as you know joel um so, so you actually get your name in the email <laughs> uh and it says walt it's easy just once a day imagine the life you dream of believe that it can be yours in this world of magic and miracles Choose to live as if you know of its inevitable manifestation. Don't compromise. Don't worry. Don't look for results. Haha, <laughs> there it is again. And as surely as spirit crafts one moment after another, so too will it fuse together the life you now lead with the life of your dreams as if they were two pieces of a jigsaw puzzle destined to become one. This alone determines what's meant to be. And that really summarizes what we've been saying in a nutshell. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it, it, you know, the the where he hits nails it for me is just like I'm thinking. You know, I'm trying to put in words how uh, you know I have battled the outcome based. You know, I, I, not only do I want it to happen, but I, I have in my mind I get stuck on here's exactly how I want it to happen. Oh, and, and when it doesn't work quite that way, then we focus on it even more. That's the really right. crazy part. Yes, and, and you know, and it, it it has that that idea that he was uh, he was talking about how he does his daily notes in one of the videos I listened to, uh -huh. and and he he was he said he'll sit down and he'll just start writing, and it doesn't matter what he writes, he just he, writes he anything, 
anything. And, and I, he, he, something something along the lines of the dog went to the carnival is how one of them started. <laughs> and, and, you know, just a nonsensical whatever. But but his point is, whether it's writing a note or, or manifesting, you know, a, a very successful business or law, uh, the idea that taking action is sort of the, the, the step forward. If you're living as you really believe this is going to happen, you need to be taking the action to match that. And so by typing that, he, he's getting, he knows he's going to write a note. He doesn't know where it's going to be. He said some of his best notes come from just, just nonsensical ramblings that he's written down. And that, that is, I think, you know, I, I have an accountant friend that finally let go of the idea that he, he was going to make all of his money by doing something new and exciting in, account, in accounting. Well, no disrespect to accountants out there. There's not a lot of new and exciting in accounting out there. And Mike, However, knows, Mike Dooley knows that because he used to be an accountant. He, that's what made me think of it. Uh-huh. And, and, and so the idea for this guy was he, he kept saying, Joel, it's not working. It's not working. Finally, he let go of the, I, the concept that it had to be with an, an account. I said, just believe it's going to happen. Well, a, a whole entire different industry came to him. Uh, a, a guy that was operating this business that was really successful that needed an accountant. Well, he loved the idea so much. He, the guy asking to be a partner in exchange for his services in the beginning. Well, that grew into a very, very lucrative business for him. And he, he obtained his goal, not by the original method. The accounting wasn't what really got him there. It was what got him in the door. But it wasn't a new exciting thing in accounting that did it. It was he opened himself up to the idea of the concept of however it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And most people get stuck on, well, I am a uh, computer programmer, so I'm going to make it through computer programming only. And that's that's where people get stuck. Absolutely. Yeah. And in fact, I think all of us can identify with that because we all do it to one extent or another. I've been particularly attuned to how much I do it recently. Um, especially since I've been trying to follow your path of uh, of not following the news every day, which, by the way, is really quite an experience. I, I'd forgotten what it was like. I think I told you that I had actually done it previously back in the late 1980s to the point where I had missed the fall of the Berlin Wall. <laughs> right. But it does have a very positive effect on you because... Not so much that it's a positive effect, it's that it, it takes away negative effect. It takes away all the negatives that the news keeps throwing at you. So as I've been reinitiating that recently, motivated primarily by your experience of starting to do this, I think it was last June that you, you started uh, avoiding the news, um, I've realized again, yeah, this does work very nicely. But even in that context, even within that experience, we still find ourselves trying to look at the results, trying to see, okay, well, yeah, I'm feeling more positive. I'm not as negative as I was, so everything should be hitting. And it's one of the hardest challenges to overcome, to, to stop wanting to see, well, when is the result going to happen? When's it? I mean, it should be here any day now. And by the way, it should happen the way I had in mind, like you're pointing out, that it, it, it should play out because, like you say, I'm a computer programmer, and programming is the way to do it. Well, it's not necessarily, and in fact, what I am learning more and more, relearning again, I guess I should say, because I already knew this, but somehow I keep wanting to repeat the experience over and over again for some reason. As I'm relearning, you have to let it go because, among other things, if you completely let go of the result and the method, a new method comes that you had never really considered, just like your accountant friend. A method that he had never even thought about appears right. out of nowhere. Well, and it, and it wasn't until he, just like you're saying, until he let go of the concept that he had to force it. I, I, I have, I have heard of people that, okay, the only way this is, can happen is, I, I, I can't imagine the universe providing me this, so I'm going to buy, you know, a hundred dollars in lottery tickets a week. I, I've heard people use this theory, and I really believe I'm going to win. Which is a great all, way to support the state lottery. Exactly. If you, first of all, <laughs> if you're buying a hundred tickets, you're not really believing you're going to win because you only need one ticket to win. That's right. But, but within that context, you're you're saying that the only way this is can happen is the lottery. You're almost guaranteeing it can't happen because that that's just not trusting the process. And and you know at the at the end of Mike's notes every time 
uh, there, there's always a little blip, you know, and I just, believe it or not, it's my favorite part. Uh, and it, one of the things that hit me one day was, it says, once again, Joel, taking action saves the day. When in doubt, take action. It doesn't matter what the action is. That's the key, uh, yes. Th- that, that's the answer that, that most of us get stuck on of, you know, what do I need to do? It doesn't matter. There's there's countless stories of people, uh, we, we've talked about them on the show, that, that go with an intent to a business meeting and totally run into another chance along the way. The business meeting itself was only a, a conduit of the law of attraction to lead them to where they needed to be for their true, what the true thing was that was going to bring them what they needed. But if you sit home, and, and this is where it gets, it isn't that this can't happen. But your actions not matching, if you sit home just saying, okay, world, bring this to me, and I'm not going to do anything to to do it, it makes that a much more difficult process because you're not living as if you believe this is going to happen. Taking a much easier path for you to accept what the law of attraction is going to bring you. It's it's a challenge and it's an opportunity all built into one. And, and it's confusing. You, you use the word confusing, and you're right. It's very confusing. It's confusing because we expect the universe to work in a certain way that we've always learned. That's the way reality is. Reality is what it is, right? Isn't that what the saying is? It is yes. what it is. It turns out it really isn't what it is, <laughs> which is really strange and very hard to get our heads wrapped around, and that's why we get so crazy about this whole idea of, well, why aren't the results coming? Um, one of the things that I've been focusing on a lot, and I actually want to focus on it more than I have been because I forget during the day, you know how it is, you you get your day going and all of a sudden you're focusing on your usual day stuff and you forget about law of attraction stuff. Well, that's the way it tends to go. And sure enough, I'll find I'm halfway through the day. And the one thing that I've been wanting to do, I didn't really get to do. What's that one thing? My latest thing every day has been to set a goal of feeling great all day long. Because I figure if I can focus just on that, just on feeling great all day long and not worrying about the horrible hows, not worry about what the results are that I'm seeing right away, not, res- not worry about how the whole thing's going to work out and just trust, just completely throw my trust in and just let things go and just focus on feeling good where that's, that's where the maximum stuff is going to happen then, well, the maximum stuff is going to happen. That's the theory. That's what I've been trying to apply. In practice, how does it actually work out? Well, as I work through my day, almost immediately I find some sort of challenge thrown my way um, first thing in the morning, and inevitably it leads to me focusing on, well, i got to find some way to fix this. i got to solve this problem, right? And i got to solve this next one and this next one. And of course, the act of solving all these problems means that the law of attraction keeps sending more problems to me. <laughs> right. Absolutely. It, it's quite a thing. So I keep having, my, I keep finding myself getting like halfway through the day or three quarters through the day and saying, ah, oh, I did it again. I, how am I going to stay focused on just feeling good all day long? I keep getting sucked into all these problems that keep appearing out of the woodwork, and I keep solving problems, and then more of them keep coming. It's like, ah, oh, I got to turn this thing around somehow. Well, another Mike Dooley that came out a few days ago at least gave me a clue about how to do it. Um, and let me read it to you. It says, every single minute of every single day, they're there. They may be hidden behind circumstances, people, or light poles, challenges, closed doors or lost keys, camouflaged, dovetailed or whispering, purring, kissing, or hissing. But more often than not, they're lying about in the open under a clear blue sky in plain view. Absolutely guaranteed you'd throttle me otherwise. And what are they? 10,000 reasons to be happy. Yeah. So it's essentially... I just need to spend more time looking for reasons to be happy, which is a nice task actually to have. It, it is. And there are days I had a very rare day this last week for me. And I, I, I analyzed it because it was, uh, uh, it was Thursday and I, I was analyzing it and sort of keeping a record of it. And I was, it, it was not a good day and which is very rare for me. 
and I I see how it happened. I uh, it involves customer service and it involves Comcast and Directv. And that the combinations are really bad thing. <laughs> and, uh, uh, what what had happened is I've been having all kind of internet troubles and and uh, and. I, I pay. A, I was paying a ridiculous amount of money for you know Directv for one thing, and then internet on with Comcast. Mm-hmm. So while the while I was getting repaired on my internet, uh, and, and they they brought me new boxes, and they did a really good job on that. The somewhere along the way line, somebody said, "Look, we have this really good deal that you can get. We can throw in your cable TV and actually lower what you're paying now for your internet." internet. And I'm like, wow, that is just uh, how does it? How do you beat that? And and on, and on top of that, I'm paying you know the hundred dollars a month for Direct TV. I could literally save money on the internet and save a hundred dollars a month on Direct TV. So I've been with Direct TV for like four years, and uh, so I made. I said, let's do that. So the guy comes out and he starts installing the the uh, cable, and he has to switch over the box inside my house from Direct TV to Comcast. So he does that, and he he leaves this one box and he hooks it up, and I got a really nice, very nice TV, brand new, huge. And he said, "Oh, I thought you would want." You, he said, "You really need a high def box." And I go, "Well, of course I need a high def box with a DVR." And he goes, "Oh, well, that's not on your order." And I said, "Okay." <laughs> and um, he says, "Well, I can get you one, no problem. It's going to be a little more every month, but but they." Well, and I said, well, tell me what my order says. Well, the the TV thing, they didn't include the DVR. They didn't include my extra cable box. So the order was nothing like I was sold. It wasn't remotely the same. Mm -hmm. So that was very frustrating. In the meantime, and I think I get it, you know, I call Comcast customer service, and and that's almost an oxymoron unto itself. (laughs) Uh, We've talked about that before, you and I. Exactly. And, And so I had a very... But again, very pleasant. The lady was understanding, and she said, and "Sometimes our salespeople get overzealous, but they 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 got within twenty bucks of what they promised me, and, and they they gave some concessions, and, and it worked out okay." So, then which I is get good news, phone. by the way. Right, it is, and I I was but I was still angry that it was cost, costing me twenty more dollars, but I, I like the fact that they got us close. Then I called Direct TV to disconnect it, which is you know almost try, like trying to get out of the mafia. Um, <laughs> and, and, and they, they, they don't like you to leave. And he said, okay, the early termination fee is going to be $250. <laughs> and I said, I have no early termination fee. I've been with you for four years. He said, no, you redid, it. You redid this back in March. I said, I did not. And we went back and forth on that whole concept. And I said, well, please send me evidence where I agreed to a new term. I, I, I didn't. So he says, well, I don't know where that evidence would be. I said, well, then, then you can't hold me accountable for a new term unless I sign something or verbally agree to it. And you'd have to have that recording because I say I didn't. So I found myself escalating. And then, and I'm going somewhere with this, but as soon as I hang it with that, as you know, I've been, I've been, uh, uh, approved again to foster uh, a, a child, foster slash adopt a child. Right. And so I've been going through a lot of placement uh, research, and and I've been offered several children to see if they match. And and so there's one young man that really really seems like it would be a great match. And so I've been waiting to set up an appointment to visit this young man. And. So the the worker from the uh, the agency that I'm associated with calls and says, um, "Yeah, we we want to set it up where you can meet him and 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 he, and I said, well, I'm re- I could be there Friday or Saturday of this week. Uh, I said I have a, a commitment uh, Saturday morning, but I I can still make <laughs> it that afternoon. So he he's like, well, his caseworker is out and his therapist is out, so we can't arrange that until sometime next week." And I said, well, I I can meet the child. We can do step one without all these other people involved. I can go meet the child. You know, it, it, you're, you're considering me to adopt him or foster care minimally, and I'm sure I'm safe to go meet him in a, an enclosed environment where he's going to be. So we're concerned that you might say something that would give him hope or upset him. I go, I've done this a long time. Let's quit delaying this. I said, all these, all these 
grown-ups having to get together and have meetings is frustrating when we could do this real simply. He says, well, let me check with my supervisor. Well, now it creates this whole thing, and I finally had to say, now this is after I just got done with Comcast and DirecTV. Right. So now I'm, now I'm hitting the bu- bureaucracy of foster care. Not a good place to be. And it is a very frustrating thing. Uh, yeah, and, and he says, well, he's being discharged from where he's at in two weeks, and that's, a, that's an almost impossible time frame for us to make this happen. And I said, I, I, said, I have moved my business. I've moved my residence. I've moved my two kids. I did that in four days. And you're telling me that in two weeks we can't figure out how to make this work? Mm. And in his mind, two weeks was uh, just a very short time. In my mind, we could, I can accomplish miracles in two weeks. And, and the point of me telling this long story, Walt, is that's how Thursday got going for me. It was mm. bad, bad, worse. Right. So I almost told him, and thank goodness that I've learned to not do this. Mm. I almost told him, because I was very frustrated at this point, that, you know, this is reminding me of just how frustrating this whole adoption foster care thing. I almost just told him, forget it. Just forget it. I'm done. And I didn't, thank goodness, because I, that, that becomes selfish and about me. But I was shocked at how I could not, for a few hours, pull myself out of the down, downward spiral. And that very seldom happens to me. Well, well, you know, you kind of touched on it when you said, uh, I think it was about direct TV. It's kind of like leaving the mafia. Yes, and it reminded me of the old Eagle song, "The Hotel California." You can check out any time you want, but you can never leave. That's what that downward spiral seems to be all about. Yes. It feels like you, yeah, you you can get out of any time you want, but you really can't. Right, and 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 so so for for me, who and I've worked very hard at this for a long time, as you know, and and mm-hmm. most days I can pretty much, but it was three things back to back, and plus I'm getting frustrated for this young man. You know, he's 10 years old, uh, and and you're only 10 years old for 365 days. I mean, that's it. And when a bureaucracy is eating up 45 or 50 or 60 of those days doing nothing, it frust- I mean, that, that's a very short time up to be 10. You're, you're going to be 20-something forever, 30-something forever. For, you know what I mean? That is, but 10 is a very short time. It, when it, when you're a kid, I mean. time, is it, it just seems to stretch on forever. Yeah. So so two months can be two years for all it two, seems. Yes, and it just, and so to know that he's not in, a, in the best environment that he could be in. And, and so that, that frustrating part for me was it, life felt very out of control at that moment. That mm. I'm like, you know, my goodness, I'm, 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 I'm having, to, I'm going to end up having to pay two hundred fifty dollars to Direct TV. I'm going to, uh, uh, you know, the cable company screwed me over by, by just sort of luring me with a very false package. I would have never done all this, and all this stress wouldn't have been there. And so Thursday was shot for probably, and I almost didn't. Thank goodness, I finally uh, realized this. It, it got to be about three o'clock, and I hadn't been to the gym, and I'd, I'd taken off for appointments that day because I had a lot of stuff to do. And finally, I'm, I've caught myself saying, you know, just screw the gym. I'll go tomorrow. Mm. I'm not and I, I, I caught myself and said, I, the only chance I have of stopping the downward spiral at this point is to go work out. Right, because that's one of your safe things to do yes. to, to, to get yourself into a good frame of mind. Yes. Now, I had a headache at that point. I was, I, again, I just wasn't feeling good physically. And so I went to the gym and I just started. And it, it took me probably about 15 or 20 minutes to get the blood flowing. And then I started, I, then I was able to start changing the curb. And I, and I started to myself, okay, first of all, regardless of how we got there, I really do have a nice, uh, it's nice to have my TV, my cable all in one package. If, if I, I've appealed the thing to direct TV, but at the end of the day, is $250 worth my happiness? It, it's really not. I, 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 if I lose two hundred fifty dollars, it's not worth my happiness, and and I, I, I can let that go. Two hundred fifty dollars is just not that big of a deal, and and so I was able to walk walk all of it back. And yes, the bureaucracy exists with the kid, but if I give up, that kid is going to just be. I'm going to help victimize the kid by by giving him to to the bureaucracy. Right. And so I was able to do all that, but for the longest time and probably a year of my life, 
I, I, I could not pull myself out of the downward spiral this Thursday. It took me for the longest period of time that I've, I've dealt with that. And I, I, I've, I've journaled that night and thought about it. And it, it really helped to see how we got there. And, and it gives me great empathy because I'm all in on this, as you know. I'm mm-hmm. just all in. And so I'm not trying to say if this could happen to me, it can happen to anyone. But I sort of am. That, well, well I yeah. a lot of energy on this. All- oh, absolutely. Yeah. So, because, I mean, when I look at you, I see somebody who has really embraced the whole positivity, the whole law of attraction thing, saying, you know what, I'm going to go for positive spirals i'm going to get out of negative spirals i'm just gonna keep focusing on the good stuff and block out all the bad stuff and just keep going 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 so when you run into a situation where even you are having trouble it shows just how thoroughly programmed we are over the years to attune ourselves to the negative even when we've been working on the positive for a long time it, it's something yeah. that means we have to be constantly vigilant and and you experienced it directly Yes, and it, 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 I've, I've found it amazing how it affected everything. And and uh, I, I have, having experienced it, I of course I'm going to turn it into a positive again. Now that I've experienced it, it I look at it and I and I, I call that I that day is my reminder day because things have been going so well, and 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 the the idea that a cable company and can, can or, you know really get my i gotta work harder if, if a cable company can get me in a damn more spiral i'm not doing it as well as i should be doing it and i need to remind myself of that and it it it's something that i i have such empathy for everyone that's trying this and it gets frustrated with it because it it's real and, and there's our listeners are probably going okay this this man's problem is cable companies yeah. <laughs> you, you know and, and, and I understand that I mean because I, I say that as well because in the big scheme of things I don't care I, I, I none of that matters it's it's so silly but when you're in the middle of it that's where you get in a desperate feeling and you invite more of that downward spiral absolutely and that yeah. that's why I love that that you know Mike Dooley's notes. I, one of the things I did later that day is I just pulled up on my, my I don't, I never delete his notes. So I just pulled them all up and just started reading them. I, mm. Then I, I started listening to my video. I got some, depends on where I'm at in my videos, but I went back to the, some of the basic stuff in my videos, not, not the advanced stuff I've been listening to. And I sat down and I meditated and I, and, and by the end of the night, I was able to totally have an upward spiral and, 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 and really, I didn't go to bed in the downward spiral, which is great. Mm-hmm. But I, I was shocked for the first time in, in over a year that I had a, a, a an eight-hour period where I was aware of it and couldn't do it. That's big. That, that is. It's huge. Uh, yeah. In fact, it's interesting that you mentioned that you keep all Mike Dooley's notes, because I do too. Now, now, here's an interesting twist on downward spiral, Okay. I keep, I've been keeping his notes for years now. This past June, I did something really dumb that ultimately ended up erasing all of the notes I had saved. And I was devastated. I was absolutely devastated because, like you say, this is a great resource to go to when you need to just pick yourself up just by reading through the old notes. And I had just destroyed one of my best archives. And what did that do? It started putting me into a negative spiral. I mean, it's right. crazy. Until I finally remembered that, oh, wait a minute. These come in every day. I can just start collecting a new collection. Yeah. yeah it, it, <laughs> but, but that was blocked in my mind for such a long time that day. It was amazing. It, 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 that, that's, that's just great examples of how of, of where you can be at and so when you're when you're when you're struggling or you or you perceive yourself as struggling you create more of a struggle and until you can learn to break the pattern and i certainly i've always known how hard it was but b- being where i'm at in this process i was shocked to find out that that it still can happen to me on that level where where i just thought i was i'm sort of immune to those long term you know, and what I mean eight hours uh, that, that's so much better than it used to be but you know eight hours is long term now it used to be a, 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 I had it thought I could go no more than 30 minutes in it so <laughs> it, 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 it is a very and, and I was able to pull my tools out and I don't want to live there but when I was in the middle of it I couldn't seem to not want to live there I know that sounds redundant but 
it, it was very difficult. I, I was like, I, I don't like how this person is feeling it. I, me being that person. One of the most fascinating things about negative spirals and positive spirals by Converse is that negative spirals are where we find things to be difficult, which on the surface, that sounds like, well, yeah, that makes total sense. But we don't often realize just what that difficulty is doing and telling to us. Here's another Mike Dooley that kind of helps clarify it. He says, almost no one ever says it will be easy. Actually, most say it will be hard, really, really hard. What do you tell yourself day after day, Walt? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm the one who keeps saying it. <laughs> well, yeah. And, and, and that, that, that's the, that's the, the amazing thing. I mean, that it, and even though we're aware of it, it doesn't make it easier. That's the, that's the cool part or the interesting part that I, I listen to, to stuff every day. I mean, the, my, there is no news coming into my house. There's nothing but positive uh, or educational stuff about the brain or quantum thinking or all that. And so to, to, for me to have this happen and then hear, like you're saying, then I, that negative redundant dialogue that could just hop right back in, I'm like, wow. Wow. So it, it requires, it requires an effort. It requires a, 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 a level of focus and concentration at times while not overthinking the outcome or how it's going to get there. And without uh, assuming that it's hard to do. Yes. Yes. When you, when you think it's hard to do, it is really hard to do. Which shows just how good we are at law of attraction. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and, and that's a reinforcer of how it works. It's like, you know, I, what, what if, you know that combination of of you know the order in which I re, uh, you know I was talking to people on Thursday you know the the, yeah. the cable company and and the piece that I didn't I did I left out is I had a a window of the cable company coming between eight a.m. and ten a.m. Mm, right so I waited all morning until ten o four when he pulls up mm-hmm. so right off the bat I was gritting my teeth right and I was like okay you're you're four minutes late so. I'd hope he'd be there at eight. I was Wait, which, of course, is in itself an invitation to go into another negative spiral. Exactly. So, so, so I can see how all that happened, and then I'm really glad that there's at least a side of me that when I was talking with the social worker about this young man that I'm, I want to be speaking with at some point, he would, he didn't know the baggage I was bringing to that conversation that day, and mm-hmm. I, and I wasn't out of line. I just told him that I find it frustrating that children are waiting for grown ups to have a, have meetings. Um, which isn't crazy. I mean, that, that is a, a true, it's still a true statement mm-hmm. uh, that, that the bureaucracy that they're involved with is, is frustrating for the kids. But at the same time, it's not this man's fault. I mean, mm-hmm. he's just a part of the, I need, you know, I, I've been part of the bureaucracy myself. I can't help it. You got to play by the rules. Mm-hmm. So uh, I just find it all fascinating. It ended up being an incredible week. Uh, I, 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 but that day was a reminder and it's funny you t- one of, when we came up with a topic for today's show, because I did go to my archives of the, the daily notes that I get from Mike Dooley. Uh-huh. And, and that was one of my, 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 cause it's easy to pull up on your phone Yeah, and I can just read every one and, and I probably read 50 of them that day. Wow. Yeah. That's really interesting. You know, the other thing too, is we've been talking about your, your, your Thursday spiral and how. One thing led to another, and you were you, you unintentionally were moving it along by getting more and more upset about you know, the bad results that were happening, and so on and so forth. I'll, I'll tell you about one of my days this week. Um, one of the things that I do as part of my business, I'm self-employed, um, and this is more of a residual that comes from earlier stages of my business. Uh, I, I host websites and, and email services for a number of clients. And so that means that that uh, terrible thing, the server, is my responsibility. You know, for most people, if if the server isn't working well, that's you know that's the cable company or the ISP or you know the the other provider or whatever. It's it's never them. And and the bad part is, all oh, I have to deal with the fact that my email isn't coming in right and it's asking for a password when it shouldn't be asking for a password and yada yada yada. Well, so so most people don't have to worry about anything except that particular frustration. Well, for me. 
when things don't go right, not only are they not going right for me with the server, but they're going wrong for everybody else who's my customer. And now I'm getting all the phone calls and the emails like, hey, the, I can't get up my email. My website isn't working, yada, yada, yada. So it's not terribly surprising, I'm sure, uh, to you to hear me say that when the server is not working properly, I'm not a real happy person. <laughs> right, absolutely. Add on to that what we know about the law of attraction. And a server can actually be a tremendous negative downward spiral because all it takes is for one thing to go wrong, which leads to another thing to go wrong, which leads to another thing to go wrong. It's the way when programming breaks down, that's what happens. It becomes a cascade effect of, of a whole series of things going wrong. And so it, it, it's you. And of course, computers are fast, right? Computers are very, very fast. So this cascade happens really quickly. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Well, I had exactly an event like that happen. This past week, I, I was trying to avoid a, a, and get away from another negative spiral where servers are concerned. I had been working with a provider for the past 10 months that really wasn't doing a very good job. I mean, Comcast has been golden in comparison to, to this other provider I was using. And, and it may surprise people to know that when you are a server manager, you actually use a provider of your own. Well, you do. That's the way this whole thing works. It's actually layers and layers of providers. You you don't see it. You only see the one that you're dealing with. But there's there's a whole series of layers of, of providers going on there. Well, my particular provider was a mess. So I said, okay, I'm moving to a, a different server with a different provider. I'm going to shift everything over, which, by the way, is a Herculean task. It's, it's a gigantic task to do that. But I'm going to go to a better provider. And I found another provider. It was actually cheaper, too. I wasn't even really looking for cheaper. It was a welcome thing to have happen, but it wasn't what I was looking for. But I, I found this new provider to work work with. And with my server admins, I initiated a transfer so that all the stuff that was on the old server would move to the new server. Well, that alone creates all kinds of opportunities for things to go wrong. Right off the bat when you said that, I, I almost got a headache. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, I believe it. Well, I, I, wow. Well, well, it's even more fun when you live it. <laughs> I can imagine. Wow, that's crazy. But I knew in the long run it was going to be good to, you know, get all this stuff moved over so that the old headaches would be gone. And now I'd have everything working properly and I would have a, a, a team that's properly supporting it so that, you know, everything would be just hunky dory. But there is that transition period, and sure enough, the transition hit me between the eyes, just like it, it always usually does with these kinds of things. So that by, I can't remember which day all these things were happening, but because my week was, was your Thursday. Wow, yeah. <laughs> but, but let's just say it was Tuesday. I can't remember which day it was. Um, so Tuesday appears, and first thing that happens is I realize that there's a bunch of things still wrong with the server when I wake up. And my day starts to spiral downward, and I'm thinking, oh, God, here we go again. And I go through a whole day of nastiness like you went through on Thursday. Got a lot of stuff fixed, trying to feel good about that. Wake up the next morning, and there's a whole new slew of things. And that's the way the week was going. I, I would solve a bunch of problems, and sure enough, a bunch more problems would show up. How terribly frustrating until I remembered, oh, yeah, that's the way the law of attraction works. You keep focusing on problems, you're going to get more problems. <laughs> Absolutely. So now I, I have to, to stop that story for a second. I'm going to come back to it and tell you about another story. Um, I live in, in, Louise and I live in an apartment complex. And, of course, that means that whenever something's wrong, we have to contact uh, the management about sending a supervisor, you know, a maintenance guy to come fix whatever it is. Most often, if you have a leak of some kind, uh, you know, some sort of potential water damage or whatever, that's going to get them in quickest because they want to preserve the property. Well, we had a number of things that needed to be done. Um, I won't even list what they all are. But there were a number of things that had we, we've been after them for like weeks to try to get, get them to do something, and they hadn't done it. So finally, one day we noticed some wetness under the sink in the kitchen. We said, ah, this is actually good news because this is going to get the maintenance guy here quicker, right? Well, no, that's not what happened at all. We, we put the call in, and it's like weeks before anybody actually shows up. And I'm calling every other day saying, hey, you know, we put in this call. Oh, we're well, ready to have it come out. And of course, he doesn't come out. Well, that's going on in the background. Now I've got the server thing going on, and I'm realizing I'm in a really bad negative spiral. It's not just a one-day spiral. This is an ongoing week-long spiral. i got to stop this thing. How do I stop it? 
well, I focus on good things. Okay, but even when I focus on those good things when I come back, I know that the, the, the bad stuff's still going to be there. I'm not going to see instant results. How can I turn this around? I finally said, you know what? I'm going to take a walk. I mean, for you, it's, it's uh, working out at the gym. For me, it's just taking a four-mile walk. And fortunately, it was a lovely day. Went out, took that walk, and it just soaked in how beautiful the weather was, soaked in the sun, the nice cool breezes, and all that kind of stuff, and got myself feeling really good. And I, I just decided, screw it. <laughs> I'm just going to get myself feeling good, and I don't know how the server is going to get fixed, and I don't know how we're going to get the maintenance guy in there, and plus there were other few things going on. I don't know how any of that's going to happen. Screw it. I'm just going to go out and feel good for a while. And I did. And I came back and said to myself, pat myself on the back. I did the entire walk feeling good. In fact, I feel really good right now. And you know what happened, Joel? Within 10 minutes, I got a knock on the door from Renee, the maintenance guy, saying, hey, I'm here to fix everything for you. And then 20 minutes later, my server was fixed. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> it's amazing. And, and, and that, yes, absolutely. Unbelievable that, how quick it yeah. was. Yeah. And, and and that that's the piece for me that I I know that we can go there, but I, you know, a question that I have is, what level can you get to? Are there people and that that get to a place where they never have a downward spiral? Um, and I, I don't know the answer to that. And I I I, I well, I, I want to find. I want to be that person. I want to get I there. Be that <laughs> yes, I, I I would love to be. And and I. I I have very few. I mean, like I said that this was this was shocking to me, but in a cool way, as I do with everything, I'm really glad it happened because I needed that reminder. I needed to, you know, I, I needed to be, you know, you 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 got more work to do. There's stuff you need to be doing better, and and that's that's uh, which I I love those kind of reminders. And and in the big scheme of things, what I have to remember, nothing happened that day that was really bad. It was my expectations were stuck on certain things and that day none of my expectations were met yes but in reality expectations are 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 false anyway I, I i'm stuck on outcomes again they are and you know and it, it it's uh uh i should have dealing with cable companies i should have asked for something in writing about what this deal was going to be like to change over and that would I would have had a little bit that you know I, I didn't realize they were giving me a regular definition box. I didn't even know that even existed, <laughs> uh, and, and and I I, I just didn't realize that all that stuff was there. But it, in reality, it is is my fault for not doing enough diligent work behind it, and uh, and, and and it didn't matter. None of the stuff we're talking silliness. None of that stuff mattered, and uh, and I don't mean the young man didn't matter, but but that. That's out of my control. I got to do what I can within the confines of the way the bureaucracy works. Yeah, the thing that didn't matter was the the series of, of negative results. They yes. were not what mattered. Right, right, and 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 so so it, it ended up as you're saying. You, you know, once you once I flipped that switch, you know, I went to for me, I went to the gym, worked out. Then I was able to come home and journal about it and see how. I'm like, wow, this was fascinating today. Mm. That that while I'm in the middle of it. I knew it, but it just was almost like it had my hands tied behind my back and I couldn't take action. That's the fascinating part. The fact that we know this as well as we do, and yet when we're in the middle of that negative spiral, it's still so hard to see it. That's the yes. fascinating part. Yes, and 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 and, the, and so when when I the reason we share these things with our listeners, it isn't to to discourage, but it's to point out if you're struggling and you're really trying to implement what we're trying to talk about here, don't be frustrated because it happens to everyone. This is part of the process, and and it, it it you know I would I I haven't quit believing in what I believed. I didn't change my belief system because of it. It just it just allows me to see how I, I often will say I, I'm still in first grade in a lot of ways of this. And, and the good news is that with all the work that we put in, I mean you put in a tremendous amount of work, especially I've been putting in work too to get ourselves more and more positive, to focus on the good stuff in life more and more throughout our day, to eliminate the negatives, to block them, to refuse to look at them on the news or whatever. Just those activities have gotten us to the point where now 
it's actually better when the negatives happen, when the negative spiral happens, because we recognize it quicker. We, we can, if we put our minds to it, in the midst of the spiral, remember what the solution is. Back when, when I first started with the Law of Attraction, I couldn't even remember what the solution was. You know, I'd run into that negative spiral and everything just went right out of my, out of my mind. I, like, what do I do? This is impossible. This stuff doesn't work. <laughs> I couldn't remember how you yeah. do it. And, 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 now I can remember. Doesn't mean that I, I'm implementing yes. it immediately, but at least now I'm remembering. And now I'm that much closer when I'm entering a de- negative spiral to being able to quickly shift out of it. Yes. Yes. And, th- and that, that is, you know, one, one of the things that uh, a tool that I, uh, one of the rules, I, I have certain rules I implement in my life. And one of the rules that I'm going to implement now is like what I should have done with the social worker that called, I should have said, can I talk to you either later today or tomorrow? Right. Uh, I just got off the phone with a couple of very frustrating calls, and I don't want to bring that frustration to our conversation. Oh, I boy, that's, that. a, that's great. That Well, the should-haves are, are easy to say, but right. I love the fact that you came up with the idea. That's a fantastic idea. Right. Yeah, yeah I don't mean I should. I, that I wish I would have or all that doesn't matter, but I have made a commitment that in the future I'm going to attempt to do it that way, uh, to say – or, or even, can you give me a couple of hours? I'm about to go to the gym. I'll work out. I'll call you after the workout, which is always a great time to talk to me. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And, and 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 so I'm gonna I'm gonna use that as a lesson because I I, I had three very frustrating calls back to back, and the the frustration was building. If there, whoever would have gotten, I didn't answer the phone after that part because whoever was going to get me after that guy was no matter what they were trying to do, they were going to have a bad conversation. Right. It was right. Gonna, it was going to go real bad. Yep, and it was going to spiral uh, quickly. Yes, and in fact, the the lady that does my yard, uh, uh, her family, uh, they have a, a landscape business. She sent me an email uh, right in the middle of all this, saying, "Do you want us to aerate and seed your yard?" And I just wrote back, "No." <laughs> Which was the politest thing you could think of to say. <laughs> yeah, and uh, uh, I later text, emailed her, and said I was having a really bad moment. I said I said I I, I don't know. I'll, I'll I'll email you later. I said you your timing of your email was really bad. If you if you laugh, <laughs> you know. But it, it it's it's just uh, it is what it is. And I'm, I I to me it just reinforces the power at my disposal, mm. and I I love that it's still there. But I also am, I have a, a newfound respect for the, the power of the downward spiral, too. It is a powerful force. The positive is more powerful, but the, the downward spiral is still very powerful. That's the part I keep having to remind myself, that the upward spiral is more powerful. Because yes. when you're in the midst of that down, downward spiral, it doesn't feel like it. Right. But it's true, the, the upward spiral is more powerful. So... All we really are talking about here is making a shift in our thinking, and that shift brings the power in that's more powerful than the negative spiral, and that's what pulls us out and puts us onto the positive plane again. Right. And, and that's so easy to say. <laughs> it's not always so easy to do, but it does show that even when you're in that negative spiral, if you can just have that, that presence of mind to say, wait a minute, take a breath. I can pull out of this. Yes. All I have to do is look for positives right now and just get myself into a more positive space and stuff will fix itself. Right. It that, will fix itself. Yes. And which is hard to believe, but it really is true. It, it, it does work very, very consistently. It does fix itself whenever I get myself back into that positive frame of mind. In fact, you and I were talking before we started doing this week's show about uh, stuff I've been dealing with on a marketing perspective. And I won't go into all the details of that. that. That's actually going to be part of a story that I'll tell later on here on the show. But after having dealt with a bunch of junk that I'm not detailing here, I came to a conclusion about what it would take to make it work better. And I realized even that conclusion wouldn't work. So what do I do? Well, in the context of what we're talking about here, I know what the answer is. Let it go. Yes. Even though it's my job, just yeah. kind of let it go. It's not like I'm going to ignore it. It's not like it's, I'm going to say, look, I quit. You know, it's up to you. I'm done washing my hands. I'm, I, you know, I'm out of here. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I'm not going to keep dwelling on the stuff I can't control. 
I'm not going to keep dwelling on the stuff that doesn't get me anywhere. I'm going to simply trust that if I just put out to the universe, I'm feeling better, the universe is going to solve it. Yes. And that's the hard part, but it's also the easy part. All at the same time, it, 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 you're right. It, it, it's the at the same time the hard and easy part because the the, the letting go process of you're in, I, I have uh, and again on Thursday I found this pretty difficult to uh, implement because I was angry and sure anger sort of offsets everything. But I, I have uh, you know if it's not in your direct control, why give it any power? But yet we do. We, 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 well, sure, because get, that's what we do. <laughs> yes, that's what we do. What, one of the things uh, that I, I, humans tend to do uh, is we, if something happens, we hold on to it, we think about it, we relive it. And an analogy, and I don't think I talked about this last week. If I did, I apologize. But uh, it, it's, you know, you, you have an antelope, and he's running through, he's being chased by a, a lion. Well, the antelope is giving everything he has to get away from the lion. There's, there's it all, everything, mm-hmm. adrenaline flowing, scared to death, all out, get away from the lion. Well, once he's clear of the lion, the antelope just stops, shakes off, starts eating again. Right. That's over. The antelope has the ability to dismiss. Right. Humans, while we have the power of perspective, we have, we have power. Also, our deficit is we don't have the ability to, without until it's learned, to quickly dismiss. We keep, we'll we'll spend a week. Oh my God, that lion almost ate me. This almost happened. Oh, and we we some of the stuff we hold on to for years, of what almost happened, exactly, or what did happen. Yeah, and and you know versus the antelope who's like, yeah, that whatever that the antelope doesn't remember. It's like, okay, now I'm just I'm time to eat. Well, we have both an advantage and a disadvantage all in the same thing. Yes. The advantage is we have this this tremendously big brain compared to most animals, and the nervous system that that brain is in control of and interacts with has a large center in the middle of our chest, in our heart area as well. So actually the heart, believe it or not, I don't know if you knew this, Joel, the heart actually plays a major role in our brain. Absolutely. It, It plays a huge role in it. So we have this massive neural system here that gives us brain power that far exceeds anything that an, any animal has, which gives us tremendous brain power, the ability to create stuff that you know, far beyond what an animal can create, what a typical animal can create. But it also has the negative side, which is, like you say, we can focus on, wow, that lion was chasing me for eons. <laughs> we can make it end endlessly, endlessly being chased by the lion. So it's yeah. a two-edged sword. And it's like any tool, really. When you have a great tool, a great tool can be used for great good or it can be used for great evil. The point, of course, is that we have the choice. We literally do have the choice. It's up to us. And that's our biggest challenge as humans, as, as beings that have larger amounts of brain power available to us. We actually have the choice. And that choice is to choose which way we're going to go. Are we going to choose the negative spiral or are we going to choose the positive spiral the fact that we have our choice is our greatest gift really yes and it 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 really really comes down to an option for us and learning to which option which button to press where where to put your energy where to put your focus when that we have a choice you know, uh, uh, our reality is our reality because we dictate it. We're in charge of it. You make it. Uh, uh, an animal has their reality dictated to them. Humans have given the power of, of to choose your perspective. And, you, you know, the, the, the more intense things become, the more, you know, I, I tend to, uh, w- one of my hypotheses right now is I'm guarded in the sense that I'm, I'm, I'm aware I've had some, uh, you know, a lot of stuff happen in my life. Some big events have happened in my life. Uh, I, I am, I handle the big events probably better than I handle the little events at times. And that's, that's uh, one of my ongoing working. It's pretty cool. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's a, again, it's a great gift, but, but because I'm prepared emotionally to handle whatever life throws at me, but apparently not the cable company. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I think we all have a, a, a particular place in our heart for the cable company, and it's not a warm one. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, and, and again, the lady, the lady could not have been nicer. Uh, it was, it was certainly a, a in, the, in the, again, in the big scheme of things, it was not. I, I shouldn't. Again, the shouldn't. I, I don't want to be in a position where little things like that have any power over me. So I still yes. have work to do. As, as you were doing this week, with you know, you're dealing with you know, pulling yourselves out of it. That's the work that we're doing. Understanding how we got there. This is an ongoing thing. Right. Our, our listeners are are uh, we, they each have uh, everybody listening has dealt with this on some level, mm-hmm. but yet there's still an interest. I mean, you don't tune into a program like this unless you're seeking something. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And, I, and so I, I'm excited for our listeners that we're able to to, to relate, and hopefully they're they're able to hear uh, stuff they're going through and what we're going through. And as we as we continue to evolve with our our belief system as well, it, it also is a reminder to both of us that our listeners find us through the law of attraction. Yes. Which is yes. kind of, it's both ironic and fortuitous all in the, in the same thing. Because here we are talking about the law of attraction, talking about the challenges we run into, the successes we have, you know, all the, the stuff that's involved in it, knowing that when we do that, people who need to hear what it is we've been experiencing and talking about are going to find us. And not necessarily knowing how they're going to find us. Yeah, yes, I mean, there, there's people that will be be just randomly uh, searching or going through the internet and then run across our show and listen to it and say, "Wow!" and, and that I, I relate to that. And, and and they they never heard of our show before this happened. So right, uh, it, it it is amazing by us putting it out there. The people that run across it are able to hopefully again able to relate. And this can further their progress or further their endeavors in the law of attraction and using it to their benefit. Because the, everything we're talking about is reinforcing the law of attraction, whether it's the negative side or the positive side. But we certainly see the law of attraction as, you know, I never once doubted that the law of attraction was at work. I could just see where it was working in a negative direction. For <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, absolutely. And in fact, we've got just a couple minutes left, so I'm going to tell a a story that's directly related to our show and how we're attracting people in. You and I have previously talked about how we really need to get our iTunes podcast going. In other words, we have podcasts um, which uh, need to be updated on the website so that people can actually access it, but they also need to be able to find it in their iTunes for people who have an iPhone. Well, Joel, as <laughs> perfect for this whole conversation, I've been working for weeks now trying to get that uh, that feed to work in such a way that iTunes will like it. And you know what? I, I have stumbled over and over and over again. Every time I think I've got it right, the iTunes, the, you go to their, their podcast uh, center and you, you plug in your URL to your feed and they, they tell you whether or not it's validated. Every time I validate it, it says, nope, it's not validated for this reason or that reason. And I'm finally realizing that, you know what? I got to trust. <laughs> I just got to put some trust out there. I got to stop trying to solve it all myself. Yeah, I have to take steps because this is technical stuff, and with technical stuff, you have to take steps. But that doesn't mean I'm responsible for the final result. I'm not. I can't be. So I have a new resolve. I, I have people who are I, I'm reaching out to for help. I'm going to trust they're going to be able to solve this thing. And by God, within the next week or two, that feed is going to be working, and now we're going to have a new way for people to find us. That I look forward to that. I have... Uh... I have zero ability to offer any help to reach you on uh, from from a distance. Well, clearly, so I, I've got all this ability, and it's not helping me. So. <laughs> but but that that will be another way to put it out there because I I know that I have several podcasts that I listen to that are people that I've never heard of before that I've just searched law of attraction or positive psychology or something along those lines, and 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 they're now part of my podcast that I listen to. So. And that's um, what we're looking forward to here. The fact that more people, as soon as this thing gets fixed, through whatever way it's going to happen, because I'm just going to let it go, and the universe is going to solve it somehow, I'll keep taking my steps, but I'm not going to be responsible for it anymore. And, of course, that's what's going to end up getting fixed. And when that happens, more and more people are going to find us. It's going to be cool. It is, Walt. It's a pleasure again this week to be able to speak with you. Pleasure talking to you, too. Thanks again, and we'll see you all again next time here on LOA Today. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>